we're on river left and we're going to do the reverse double spade cast. This is an ideal cast when the wind is either not blowing at all or blowing hard downstream. If the wind's blowing hard downstream, it keeps the, the setup and the forward casting stroke off my downwind shoulder. And that's going to keep us from getting tangled into the fly ourselves. And it's going to keep the line on the left side of the rod or the downriver side of the rod. Everything stays the same on the reverse double spade cast. I'm on river left. My line's hanging straight down below me. It's just finished its swing across the drift. I simply lift the rod tip up, brake service tension, sweep the rod, making my sweep across in front of me, rooster tail, and forward casting stroke. Now we've got a sinking tip line on here. This is a 15 foot, 200 grain tip, and this is a common line to fish for either big flows, cold water, spring, autumn, winter conditions, and it's a little bit different to cast. The line's straight below me and parallel to the bank. I strip in a couple of feet to bring that sinking tip up through that mid-water column close to the surface. I raise my rod tip up slowly. Make our setup, the same as with the floating line. Watch that rooster tail come sweeping around and a nice beautiful forward cast. I can put more pressure on that sweep, creating a larger rooster tail with that sink tip line on than I could with a floater. In fact, that sinking tip line acts as a more secure anchor. I get a better load out of the rod. Try it. You guys are going to love this cast. Let's go over it one more time. The line straight down below us. The sinking tip now is at its very deepest point in the swing because it's come across this slow water below me. And it's down right on the bottom. I'm going to have to bring a couple of strips of line in just to bring that sinking tip up through the mid-water column closer to the surface. I raise my rod tip up. I make my setup. Strong anchor. Big rooster tail. Big sweep and a heavy forward cast. It's a wonderful way to cast the sink tip line. A common error that we see spay anglers make on the double spay cast is when they try to set that line up, they overcompensate for that sink tip and lift it up with so much force that it goes up above them when it really should be positioned off their left hand shoulder, off the shoulder that they're casting off of. Remember, that's a good point. That line's got to be set up downstream in the direction of the cast. Always keep your eye on the line. I don't make a setup without knowing visually exactly where my line and my leader and my fly are. If that fly, line, or leader is upstream from the direction of my cast, I'm going to have some real complications because that cast is going to crash into my rod tip. Worse yet, I could lose the anchor and get the fly in the back of my head. So absolutely certain, my eyes are trained on every cast I make to follow my line, my leader, and my fly, and I abort the cast if it's not in the perfect position. 